Welcome to Be the Boom. In the heart of the ancient Himalayan mountains, where the air is thin and the whispers of monks float through the mist, there resided a wise and humble Buddhist monk named Jigm. Clad in saffron robes, his eyes held the serenity of someone who had navigated the depths of his own existence. Jigm was not just a monk. He was a guide, a beacon of light for those seeking to make their lives better. Word of Jigm's wisdom spread far and wide, reaching the ears of seekers from distant lands. Among his diverse group of students were Maya, a young artist haunted by self-doubt, and Raj, a seasoned businessman weighed down by the burdens of success. Each had come seeking something different, but they all shared a common yearning for a better life. One crisp morning, Jigm gathered his students in the courtyard of the monastery, the towering peaks of the Himalayas, casting shadows over the ancient stones. The fragrance of burning incense filled the air as Jigmu, with a compassionate smile, began his teachings. Dear ones, Jigmu's voice resonated, we are all on a journey to make our lives better. This journey is not about accumulating wealth or achieving external success. It is about finding the richness within, a treasure that surpasses all worldly possessions. He led them to a tranquil meditation hall, its walls adorned with murals depicting the interconnectedness of all living things. Close your eyes, Jigm gently instructed, and let us embark on a journey inward. As the students settled into a profound silence, Jigm guided them through a meditation that encouraged introspection. He spoke of the impermanence of life and the importance of embracing change with an open heart. Maya, with her mind cluttered by the echoes of self-doubt, found solace in the simplicity of Jigm's words. Raj, accustomed to the fast-paced world of business, felt the sense of calm wash over him as Jigmi spoke of the stillness within. Following the meditation, Jigmi invited his students to share their reflections. Maya hesitated, but with a gentle nod from Jigmu, she spoke of her struggles as an artist, the constant comparison to others, and the fear of never being good enough. Jigmi listened with empathy, his eyes reflecting understanding. Maya, the canvas of life is vast, and your brushstrokes are unique. Comparison is a thief of joy. Embrace your authenticity, for it is the source of true creativity. Your journey is a masterpiece in the making. Encouraged by Maya's vulnerability, Raj opened up about the pressures of his successful business and the toll it took on his well-being. Jigmi nodded knowingly, Raj, success in the external world is fleeting. True wealth lies in the balance between material pursuits and the richness of your inner world. Let us explore this balance together. In the days that followed, Jigmi guided his students through various practices, blending ancient wisdom with practical insights. They engaged in mindful walking, their footsteps echoing in the mountainous silence. They practiced gratitude, recognizing the beauty in the simplest moments. Jigme encouraged them to cultivate compassion, not only for others but, crucially, for themselves. One afternoon, as the sun bathed the monastery in a golden glow, Jigme gathered his students for a storytelling session. He spoke of a wise old turtle who carried the weight of the world on its back, symbolizing the burdens we often choose to bear. In the pursuit of a better life, Jigm mused, we must learn to discern between the burdens that are necessary for growth and those that we needlessly carry. Liberation comes not from avoiding challenges, but from embracing them with wisdom. Inspired by the story, Maya approached Jigmi with a question that had lingered in her heart. How can I let go of the burdens that stifle my creativity? Jigmi guided her to a quiet corner overlooking the misty valleys. Maya, Creativity flourishes in the soil of free mind. Let go of the need for validation and perfection. Your art is an expression of your soul, and in its imperfections lie its true beauty. As Maya absorbed Jigm's words, Raj wandered over, intrigued by the conversation. Jigm welcomed him with a warm smile, sensing the businessman's quest for a different kind of wealth. Raj, Jigm said, the pursuit for success is not inherently wrong. 
but it should not come at the expense of your well-being. Find joy in the journey, not just the destination. Your worth is not determined by external achievements, but by the depth of your inner contentment. The following weeks unfolded as a tapestry of learning and growth. Jig Mi led his students on a trek to a sacred mountain lake, where they immersed themselves in the purity of nature. They learned the art of mindful eating, savoring each morsel with gratitude. The monastery echoed with laughter and shared insights, becoming a sanctuary for transformation. One day, as they sat under the ancient Bodhi tree, its leaves rustling in the mountain breeze, Jigme addressed his students with a twinkle in his eyes. Making life better is not a destination. It is a continuous journey. The key lies in the integration of ancient wisdom with the demands of modern existence. He handed each student a small notebook. In these pages, document your reflections, aspirations, and moments of gratitude. Let this be a companion on your journey to a better life. Maya, Raj, and the others diligently embraced this practice. The notebooks became a repository of their evolving selves, a testament to the subtle shifts in perception and the blossoming of inner richness. As the seasons changed, so did the hearts of Jigme students. Maya, once paralyzed by self-doubt, discovered a newfound confidence in her art. She began to view challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth, and her paintings reflected the vibrant colors of her liberated spirit. Raj, too, underwent a transformation. The pressures of the business world no longer weighed heavily on him. Instead, he found joy in leading with compassion, fostering a work environment that valued both success and well-being. The once-stressed lines on his face softened, replaced by the glow of contentment. In a final gathering under the Bodhi tree, Jigme shared a profound teaching. Dear ones, the journey to make life better is an ongoing dance between the self and the world. It requires an open heart, a curious mind, and the courage to face the ever-changing currents of existence. Maya Raj and the other students sat in silent gratitude, absorbing the wisdom that had permeated their beings. Jigmo, with a serene smile, imparted a final piece of guidance. As you continue on your individual paths, remember the essence of our time together. Life's richness is not found in the accumulation of possessions, but in the depth of your connection with yourself and others. Cultivate love, compassion, and gratitude, and you will find that you have not only made your own life better, but have become a source of light for the world around you. With those words, Jigme bid farewell to his students, knowing that their journeys had just begun. As they descended from the monastery, the Himalayan peaks stood tall, witnesses to the transformative power of ancient wisdom in the. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.